Good morning, Michael. Um, morning, to start off with, with COVID, have you got any issues in the squad or have you got an all player? Uh, no, we've got, we've got two, two with COVID at the minute. Um, obviously, we're going to be testing again this morning, uh, as we have been doing every day. So, um, yeah, at the, minute, at the minute, we've got two down. Obviously, we'll be testing again today. Hopefully, there'll be, be no more. Um, players won't be on Christmas Day, but they will have tests to take with them. So, we're trying to, you know, avoid and give ourselves the best possible chance we can uh, to uh, you know, have 14 players available for, for Boxing Day. Are you happy the rules have been cleared up this year by the EFL with regards to, to when you can postpone a game or not? <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I, I suppose it's one of them where, you know, not that we'd be in this mindset, but, you know, I, I, it's a still a little bit flaky because rules can be bent slightly to your advantage. So, um, but I'd like to think the majority of people, if, if there was an opportunity to get the game on, they would do. Um, obviously, we put ourselves in a scenario last year where we ended up playing a, you know, a couple of games where clearly we probably shouldn't have uh, through no fault of our own and we were expected to play. Um, Whereas, yeah, I think obviously if you've got 14 players, which includes a goalkeeper, then obviously the, the rules are pretty clear. Um, Injury-wise, how are things looking? We're okay. I mean, obviously you've got the, the, the long terms that the Tom Hoppers and Joe Walsh that are still, obviously, they're progressing nicely, but it's going to be well into the new year and possibly even February before, February before we see them too. Um, Anthony Scully is trained for three or four days now, which has been positive. Um, so, you know, um, he'll certainly be in, in, in the squad for, for Boxing Day. Um, and apart from that, you know, we're, we're reasonably okay. Adam Jackson clearly is still going to be off for a period of time with the, the, uh, the two concussions that he, he sustained. And, you know, that's going to be another few weeks before we see him in action. Um, so, they're, they're three, obviously, really key players in terms of their experience and what they bring. Um, but I think numbers wise Rob I think we have got if you include the two goalkeepers we've got 14 outfield players and two keepers so at this minute we're okay So you are but I'll, with the Covid situation you are close to the limit aren't you? We are we are hence obviously players you know it's important what today's testing goes like um, you know you'll know of even working at the radio, it, things can change over 24 hours and you think you've got a clean bill of health and then next thing you know, there's three or four. And so um, we're not getting carried away. We're not counting our chicken. We're just going, right, okay, day by day, let's see where we're at. All I would say is that, you know, that the lads who have trained and been able to train it have been, been fantastic and their attitude has been spot on to the new protocols around the, around the, um, the, the train ground because things like food has had to be cancelled, etc. You know, and it's um, they, they, they've been excellent in terms of their attitude and the way they've uh, applied themselves. With regards, there's been a lot of talk of um, the, the jabs and, and boosters and, and vaccinations. Have you had a, a, a talk about that as a squad, a conversation? Yeah, we have. There's, there's still a few players who um, have either only been jabbed, I think it's once. Or um, or not, and listen, it's 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 one of them, isn't it? Um, I don't know about you, but I get bored of so I like hearing people talking about it on the radio and stuff like that every single day. It's difficult because the reality is you can't force anyone to do it. You can give them all the all the knowledge that you have at hand from what people are telling you, professionals are telling you, scientists are telling you. Um, but if you know, still, if they don't want to do that, then that's their prerogative. Um, you try and give them the s different scenarios that you know. Um, if this happens, um, you know, we're not going to be able to play, or you're not going to be able to play. Um, you're going to end up having to isolate when you know maybe you haven't got any symptoms, you haven't even got COVID. So you can speak to players so you blew in your face, but ultimately, you know, if they you know, decide that they're going to take a stance and not going to do it, then that's their prerogative. So um, I think we've just took a little bit of a different approach where we've tried to give them everything, all the information that we've got. Um, and if they decide not to do it, then that's their choice and we move on and we try and we deal with, deal with what we've got.
with regards to the, the football, um, could it be a much tougher Christmas period for yourselves? Yeah, I mean, in terms of what the teams are playing, the fixtures, or, yeah, the fixtures you've got, yeah, yeah. obviously, yeah, the, the, the tough set of fixtures, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, you know, we've got, you know, even looking going into January, if, you know, <coughs> knowing that obviously MK Dons, Rotherham, and then Ipswich in a in a short period of time. You know, the, the three very, very tough games. Obviously, MK Dons and Robin doing very well. It's which, um, with, a, <clears throat> with a new manager. Um, and then, obviously, into the new year where, obviously, you've got Oxford, who are up there flying high, and potentially even Sunderland as well. You know, uh, I know there's talk around that game um, coming up in the early part of January as well. I'm not sure if it's been confirmed yet, but I know there's talk of it. So, it's going to be a tough, tough period. But to be fair, Robert, you know, I think sometimes it doesn't matter where you get the points from. It doesn't matter who you get the points off. You know, the reality is we're, we're in a scrap at the minute. And I actually think it might be a good thing, if I'm being honest, because for me, there's, that's where our better performances have been, if I'm, if I'm you know, being against the biggest sides and the better teams. And um, I do think we perform better, you know, whether that's the attitude of some of the players that's in the group that, they feel it should be played in them type of games. I don't know, but um, it's not something that I'm more worried about because it's, you know, Sunderland or Rotherham or MK or Ipswich rather than, with the greatest respect, you know, some of the sides down the bottom like Crew and Doncaster. It's just another game. It's another tough game. And obviously, when you look at the front line of MK on Boxing Day and the money they've spent on that front line, it's a little bit scary. I was going to say, they seem to have a, a more of a cutting edge this year to add to the possession-based game they, they tend to play. Yeah, I, I, I've been impressed with, with what Liam's done because um, they're, they're a little bit more... They're actually they're similar to us in a way that <clears throat> they want to pass the ball forward quicker. You know, they're definitely um, the more direct from that point of view. And obviously, with the front three that they've got, they can cause teams a lot of problems. And... Um, you know, when they, they're in those positions, they can be really, really dangerous. But um, again, we, we still think that we, we've got one or two players that can hurt them. And certainly on that transition, you know, they've got um, an expansive team, with, you know, when they play three at the back and the two wing backs. But obviously, when you're expansive and you make the pick, pitch big in possession, out of possession very, very quickly, it can turn against you. Um, you'll get bored of me asking this question for the next month and a, a bit, but transfer window, are we looking like we're going to get anything for the first couple of days of January? Well, I wouldn't normally say this unless it was absolutely guaranteed and I'm not giving too much away, but there'll be definitely one player in the building on the 2nd of Jan. Uh, obviously, we're working on making sure that we probably get another two at least. Um, I'd be disappointed if we haven't got three new faces in the building in January, put it that way. Uh, but one, I can absolutely guarantee that he'll be here um, on the second of Jan because I know the paperwork's been done. Is that a loan or permanent? Oh, no, that's a loan, that one. That's a loan, that one. Wonderful. That's great, mate. Have a good Christmas. Cheers, mate. See you later.